Nowadays, 3D imaging should be part of each and every echocardiographic exam. In this case, we take a look at the patient with aortic valve endocarditis in the mid-esophageal 3D view. You can see on the left-hand side the long axis, the short axis, and on the right-hand side the 3D image of the short axis view. Use the anterior mitral valve leaflet to orient where actually your anatomy is located. Then use the 2D image and the understanding of the 2D images before to identify the non-coronary cusp, the right coronary cusp and the left coronary cusp. You can see all three cusps also titled in the 3D image. You can see that the right coronary cusp has a smaller lesion overall, the non-coronary cusp has the biggest mobile lesion and the left coronary cusp seems to be without any kind of endocarditic lesion. If you look close, you can see the opening and the closure of the aortic valve as well quite nicely and that there might be already, as we have identified before, destruction of the valve present. So again, 3D imaging is very important, but keep in mind to understand the anatomy correctly. If you understand the anatomy, you will always be able to identify the involved cusps or the involved structures in the respective pathologies you are seeing. Still use 2D imaging to optimally identify structures in 3D then.